sixty eight billion dollars. Sixty eight billion dollars. I can't even compute that much amount of money in my head. Sixty eight billion. I woke up yesterday to the news that Microsoft acquired Activision Blizzard for sixty eight billion. It's been like two days and I'm still floored about it. This is some of the craziest news in the gaming industry that we've had for a long time, possibly ever even. We thought it was already ridiculous and already a big deal when Microsoft bought Bethesda for what are there, two billion, seven billion, whatever that was. But this, the amount of money is unfathomable. And to acquire such an enormous and important studio like that, that's uh, insane. And I think people are going to be taking Phil Spencer's words a lot more literally from now on. Because he sort of warned us about this when he said they were reevaluating their relationship with Activision. He fucking meant it. He meant it in a very literal way. They, they bought them. They bought Activision, and I cannot wrap my head around that. Microsoft has been on this big like buying spree over the last two, three years of just acquiring studios left, right, and center. I think they have like probably like 20 studios or something by now. Uh, but something like this is like crazy. That means Call of Duty is now an exclusive, probably. Crash Bandicoot, Spiral, Candy Crush, Diablo, Tony Hawk, the list goes on. They have so many ridiculously big franchises under their belt now that will be exclusive. Slowly but surely, Microsoft are starving Sony of exclusives. And this is like, I don't even know how this is going to go because obviously there's a whole discussion around that could have legal ramifications. The US government might decide to not allow this deal to go ahead. So maybe they don't fully acquire Activision. We have we have to wait and see. The deal is set to close by June 2023, end of the fiscal year. So from now until then, Activision will remain as they are. Their games will come out in the way they were announced and intended to come out. But everything beyond that point, we have yet to see. Now how do I feel about this? Do I feel this is a good thing or a bad thing? Like most people, I'm torn. On the one hand, the elephant in the room, Bobby Kotick, Activision, the whole workplace ethic there. This has to be a good thing for them because the employees are suddenly going to get treated like actual human beings. Bobby Kotick will be out the door. We know that for a fact, we speculate on it, but we know it's a fact now because it's been reported he will leave when this deal is closed. And logically, there's no need for him there when Activision will be reporting directly to Phil Spencer anyway. So he will be gone. And, you know, Phil and the team at Microsoft and Xbox, they seem very adamant and um, honest but wanting to create a sustainable and um, appropriate workplace that's is inclusive and doesn't discriminate or threaten or allow any of that behavior to go on. So they seem to have good intentions. And I want to believe that they will turn Activision Blizzard around and things will improve for the better there. The unfortunate news, Bobby Kotick gets to get away scot-free. He's getting a 300 million severance uh, package or whatever. And this all worked out great for him, really. The company is getting bought. The news is going to be shifting away from him. He gets to exit quietly with this ridiculous amount of cash. It all works out great for him. And that, um, obviously that's not great because he gets away without punishment. There's no consequences to his actions. Unfortunately, that is the reality. We all know it. CEOs and companies all the time. What's new? If you're a millionaire, you get away with pretty much everything. But as I said on the bright side, Microsoft will probably turn around the work culture there. What about the games, the franchises, the output? You know, what happens now? Because this is going to completely reshape the gaming landscape going forward. Does Call of Duty still remain a yearly franchise? Do they take a gap for a few years and try and improve and 
change up what Call of Duty is. Does it become exclusive? Like a lot of people, I do believe Warzone will stay cross-platform because, of course, would why would they make that exclusive? It would just screw over most of the player base. And Microsoft seemed pretty good on their word so far when they say that um, they will keep games cross cross-platform games the way they are. Uh, they said the same about Bethesda when they acquired them that. The games and deals that Bethesda had previously announced would remain in place. Those original plans would not change, just everything that comes afterward. So I'm going to take them at their word that the exact same is true of the situation with Activision Blizzard. Regardless, all future Call of Duty games, any future Crash Bandicoot, Spiral games, they're all like Microsoft owned now. And this... This is a huge win for Microsoft. I personally couldn't care less about Game Pass. Online play and buying games digitally or cloud versions, no, I hate that sort of thing. It's antithetical to what gaming should be, in my opinion, and I would never have that opinion. I would never be of the view that that is something I would enjoy. However, thanks to the partnership Microsoft has with Nintendo, I do get to experience some of the fantastic games Microsoft has on offer, like Ori and like uh, Doom and all the other games they're bringing over. So they do have fantastic games. It's just Microsoft's way of offering them digitally doesn't appeal to me. I know it's not sustainable to release probably all those physically, but it just isn't the thing for me. And, you know, speaking of Nintendo... How does this affect them? Because, you know, this is primarily a Nintendo channel, whatever you look at. I mostly report on Nintendo news. How does that affect them? Because the funny thing is, as we learned recently, they did try to buy Nintendo back in the 90s. Thankfully, it didn't go through, but the money they spent on Activision is more than what the entire Nintendo company is worth. So they certainly have the money and the resources to do that should they want to, but obviously Nintendo would never let themselves go down like that. But it is shocking and puts things into perspective for you. But yeah, Nintendo, they'll continue on as normal. This doesn't really affect them in the slightest. Maybe some exclusivity with like Crash Bandicoot games and stuff. Some of those might not come to Nintendo platforms going forward. But... Microsoft and Nintendo are great partners, so why wouldn't they? Why would Microsoft stop um, providing content for Nintendo all of a sudden? So I think it will have no effect, or at least a very negligible effect, if anything. It's Sony that needs to be worried. Sony are... Uh, they need to open their eyes to the reality right before them. I know a lot of people want them to go on this big spying spree or there's theories and speculation. You know, will Sony buy Rockstar? Will they buy Ubisoft, EA and all this sort of stuff? First of all, I do not want that to happen. I don't even like the idea that Microsoft bought Activision. I like it from the point of view that it's going to change the workplace culture. I think it's just bad for the industry. The fact that this one company is going to have so much power and influence. It's not right. The game industry should be separate players, all providing equal competition, so we as consumers can get great products as a result. When one company has this much power, it, it distorts that a bit, and I'm worried about the quality of games going forward in the future. Microsoft clearly want to wipe out any competition that exists, and uh, that can only be a bad thing. Whether you're a Microsoft fan or not, or you're into Xbox, you have to admit, without competition, you wouldn't get great first-party games. Without competition, you know, nothing would have pushed Microsoft to want to make Halo Infinite better than what it was when they originally showed it off. So, it can only be a bad thing if they're stifling competition. Obviously, we won't know the outcome of this for another year if it even goes ahead. So maybe, maybe nothing happens. Maybe it's all good going forward and fucking, maybe it's all sunshine and rainbows and we realize this is actually the best thing to ever happen in gaming. Highly unlikely, but it's possible. 
Either way, it's very interesting times we live in. Um, certainly not the type of news I was expecting. It's for that money, especially. To put that into perspective for you, Disney bought Star Wars for like five billion, and that was like an enormous franchise. And Microsoft threw seventy billion at Activision Blizzard. Crazy, <sighs> crazy times, but. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What did you think of this news? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? What will become of Bobby Kotek? Do you think he actually will go? Will he stay on? Do you think Microsoft will improve the working conditions at Activision? Do you think Call of Duty will be exclusive or remain cross-platform? I want to hear everything you have to say down in the comment section below. And yeah, with that all said, thank you all for watching and please subscribe. Nova Scorvius out.